morning guys, we're just on a run now, heading up to Agnes. I think the kids are actually crashing out of the back at the moment. Crew's not going to go for a dive on the outer reefs today. Looking forward to it, it's our first mesh for the year up here. So, and God, we haven't got much of the year left, so. Been caught napping a bit this year on the outer reef stuff, so. Get up here, hopefully the um, ramp's not too loaded up when we get there. We're actually in Jack's rig today. We've got um, his new boat on the back, sexy ass looking old Haynes. We'll give you a bit of an introduction to her when we get up to the ramp. Fingers crossed the ramp's not too messy. And, um, we're, we're heading for um, 1770, so sometimes the ramp can get a little bit out of hand there and you can be forced to park about a kilometre and a half away, but fingers crossed it's not too bad today. And um, we get a couple more k's up the road. Sleeping soundly back there. All right, we'll talk to you in a bit when we get the ramp. Last minute stop for some ice, some bait. Actually squeezing it away. Already woke the kids up, so. Next stop, the ramp. You gonna say good morning? Good morning. Somebody's still waking up. Good morning. <laughs> uh, get on the water pretty soon. Looks like it's gonna be a quiet morning down there. We haven't seen any other boats, so. Don't know if I should be worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the rain's keeping people away. It's about the quietest I've seen it here in some time. Pulled straight up to a park, that never happens at Agnes. Looking forward to a belt in this thing, it should be fun. Everybody high, through your veins, head to toe Let the lights take you where you wanna go Just going through my mates in your sound at the moment, working out our zones, We're just checking all our green zone areas and that. We've got about 10 nautical miles to run, I'm just about there. Come through a bit of sloppy stuff first up, but it's smoothed out now, and it's not looking too bad at all. Braid's taking it pretty rough. <laughs> Every time it gets rough, Braid will just go to sleep. So, uh, we're just pulling up now. And He's gonna get some nuts in him. <laughs> yeah, just about there. 
well three quarters of the way anyhow it's pretty nice like straight out the front it was bumpy for a while but this thing um nose down punch short for a bit and then um once it started to smooth out we're able to open it up we've been sitting on about 20 knots so less than half an hour to go and we'll be um looking at getting in the water sun's not really playing the game at the moment but um yeah we'll see it'll look a lot better when we can actually see the bottom so uh, what's our water temp 24.6 degrees that's lovely that is lovely give you a little moustache I've forgotten to bring some Vaseline out for my moustache so my mask is going to leak like a prick. Okay. Good fish. A lip yep. I don't know if we're going. We'll put him on the, bit, on the board. We're just having a bit of a play around while we work out where we are. Thought we'd throw a couple of baits down. We've got a little cod. Jack's a few here. What's it going to be? 38, 36. Oh, that's alright. We'll have a couple more drops and we'll be out of here. You got one here? Another one. That's fucking better. Yeah, fuck yeah. Alright, so we had a quick little um, drop there. Once the boys are warmed up, we might come back and have a look at this kind of depth of water. It's about 15, 16 metres there at the moment. So, but um, we're going to go and have a look for some shallow stuff to warm up in. And um, didn't help either. Jack hooked a good fish and got taken by sharks straight away. So that's one way to pump some confidence into your first thing in the morning. Oh, we just pulled up. Nice shallow spot. Get warmed up. Jack's getting his suit on. Other Jack's getting our gear out. We're going to go for a swim in some clean water. So excited. Our last trip up to Notch Point, we drove a long way to get to somewhere that was like diving in soup. And diving in the soup, for some reason there was no fish whatsoever around. Uh, <coughs> hang on, I better help Jack. As you can see me coughing away from COVID still. You got it? <laughs> Jack's got out of the boat in front of us. <laughs> He's been in the water a good minute and a half and it's just like, comes up all we hear is effing donkey and <laughs> look at this i actually shot it about three minutes ago but i didn't say it snagged me up on the bottom ah just look hold him up oh beautiful trout mate what a way to open the account hey beautiful that's him it's perfect god we've so you've seen a couple yeah <laughs> yeah four or four <laughs> How's that for a beautiful trout? We haven't even managed to get ourselves in the water yet. Jack's just come back to the boat with that. Awesome work. Ready? One strike, she's out. I guess it's my cue to leave now. Cause it's like us to freak out.
So an absolute cracker start. I just shot my first trout and I actually dove down to film a uh, little baby buddy, oh, what do you call him? Barramundi cod. Went down to film this little baby barramundi cod and um, I thought I'd turn my camera on. Obviously I must have turned it off. Because as I went down to have a look for him, he darted under a plate and I was having a bit of a look under the plate. And as soon as I lifted my head up from underneath the plate, there was a nice little coral trout, nothing huge. But I think he measured 43. Sitting there looking straight at me, I was able to lift my gun up and go donk. But um, the boys have just come back, they got a bar cheek each. So that's cool seeing bar cheeks out here. But um, they're saying they're seeing jobbies and everything over at this other spot. So I'm just waiting for a signal if they want us to pull the boat over there. We've just been anchoring the boat at the moment rather than running it live. But um, certainly some ripper trout. Right. These are just the ones that are sitting on top. Lift up our ice bag for a sec, Brad. Yep. Right into the second dive of the day. That's a pretty healthy looking box. There's the jack that I dragged out for, for Jack. Ended up he got caught underneath there. I wound up having to spear him. But my first two dives that I actually did were actually just to aid Jack with that. That one, I didn't get a um, dive on a fish at the first spot. But um, see how these boys are going. They haven't shot anything for a few minutes, so we might even um, do another quick little hop somewhere else because there seems to be some quality fishery in this area. So we'll keep on moving, it's turned into a brilliant day. Look at this, we bounced out some pretty scrappy conditions straight up, but um, yeah, we've done the miles and so far we're getting the smiles, loving it. Right, we'll get back in the water, but we'll go and get the... Good fish, mate. You get one, Jack? What are those top with the big long mouth? Hunky trout, eh? <laughs> They're all chunky. <laughs> so we just um, decided to give the shallow stuff a bit of a rake. Ray had a little bit of a swim, but he had a shot at his first sweetie. Shot the cheek clean off it, but he, it was actually a pretty good shot for him. But um, that's the cheek off the fish. That's his what? That's his cheek. <laughs> cheek. Cut that close, man. So uh, can't say he wasn't close. But um, he lined up a trout, but he's a little bit small, so he let him go. But um, now we're going to go out a little bit deeper stuff, and the sharks have been a little bit hectic, but the boys are going to jump in and just um, see how they go on this dive. So hopefully the sharks aren't too bad for them. I'm going to stay in the boat, drive the boat for them. So we're going to go out and find something in a little bit deeper water, and um, then they're going to swim down, shoot all the big trouts. <laughs> Fill the boat up. Yeah. We're doing pretty well. I think um, we are count somewhere around 10 trout now. We've got coming up to Christmas now, and it's a pretty good time to put some fish in the freezer. So we definitely um, already got enough to make the trip worthwhile. We just hopefully we'll get a few more so we've got some fish for Christmas. And if we don't, it'll be another excuse to come back out again and do it again. So we'll just have to eat fish for breakfast, lunch and dinner for the next week. Ah, so Jack's just rocked back up to the boat. With just a little sweetie. <laughs> Good fish, mate. Yeah. Happy with that one? Yeah, definitely. Nice, we might go and see if we can't find ourselves a bonus crayfish. A nice little point over here we'll go and have a look at. You good, Braid? Take you over there. 
Really sucked we couldn't use the audio for this part of the video. There was a radio playing in the background with a song, so I'd definitely get copyrighted. But this is a footage of when Braid actually just shot his first trout. It turned out to be a stonker as well. After you put him on the measuring board, he came up to 53 centimetres. So Braid was more than proud. I might have been a little bit excited myself. When I was young, I climbed up too high just to touch the sun. On my mission, no prescription, shoot for number one. Start a riot, won't keep quiet, I'm a ride or die. Heart is pumping, keep it coming, better run it high. I was born for this, I was born for, I was born for this. I was born for this, I was born for, I was born for this. So we're just letting the boys have their last little dive of the day. We're going for a little swim around this pressure point. Fair bit of current, so we're just gonna we we'll put them in at one point and we'll pick them up at the next stop. But um box is looking pretty healthy. Got some nice fish in there. Jack got a real nice um, reef jack straight up this morning. Ended up having to give him a hand to get it out. But um looking forward, I reckon we're gonna do a bit of a catch and cook on the Traeger with that one. So bit of C and G catch and grill. Looking forward to that. So it's been a big day. I'm fucking feeling it. I shouldn't swear. But yeah, I only had COVID like a week ago. I'm still kind of getting over that. And um, but luckily the water's been warm, the day's warm, it's not like I'm cold or anything. I'm actually cooking here at the moment, so I'm just about to get him out of my suit and get dried off and get all dressed for success. Boys are gonna pose with some photos. Get some brotherly photos. Braid with his first ever trout. First ever fish? Yeah, first ever speared fish. So, he's pretty impressed with himself. Yeah. Wipe the oats off your chin. <laughs> some good quality sized fish today. Only person that didn't shoot a trout over 50 was me. What trout did I, you I shoot? still put five in the box, so. What trout did you shoot? I shot five of them. All the little ones. Don't dig it through. Braid's standing up here, buddy. 
Oh, is that a hang, trout? Hanging a prawn out. Yeah, it's a trout. It is. He's got himself a trout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> two trouts in one day. <laughs> well done, buddy. <laughs> well done. Look at that. <laughs> Little bugger. I've been trying to catch a trout on one of those prawns for ages. <laughs> and you should, you've two. beaten Jack to a trout. I've stopped and caught one. I was shocked. Like... Oh, Jack's on a trout now. Oh, I better get a line down. Yeah. There's a gap. Ah, no, man. In the pocket. Monster Spangle. <laughs> Jeez. Do you know how old we are? Wasn't that Jeff? Yeah. Do we keep him ready? Sure. It's up to you. Do you want to keep him or? No, they're not the best, are they? Yeah. No. Unlucky, I thought you might have had a red then. It would have been good. Mm. Put him back. A bit of action at the end of the day. I've got two trouts in one day. Jack's going to let the big fella swim. We're going to do some posing with him. <laughs> Look at that. Not a bad fish at all. We've got plenty of good eating fish in the esky, so Jack's going to let this one swim. Nice little flop in the water. You gotta throw them in like that so they get a head start if there's any sharks under the boat. <laughs> it's been a stellar day on the water. Just finishing off a bit of boat bouncing. We've come over a bit of a hot spot here. Jack got himself. What was your first fish? Uh, lipper. Lipper. Red throat. Red throat lipper. Ray got himself his first trout on the line. He's doubled up for the day. His first trout on the line and first trout on the spear. Both good fish. Jack's gonna do his best now to catch a trout on the line. Never caught one. <laughs> so, just come back over a bit of a hot spot that we played on there before. Drop down a bit further, Braid, you're not on the bottom yet. But it's been a very good day. <laughs> Jack's about to hope to catch it, ready? <laughs> Braid's just got smoked on the prawn. <laughs> Man, it's just a huge. Well, stop drag. pump, just whine. If he's coming back at you now, it may be a spinach. I'm pretty sure I'm just dragging at this point. I'm not leaving this floor. It's just it might not be up to you yet. Yeah, it's a shark. Is it a shark? Or is, is it? It's not a cobia, is it? Yes! Holy hell, it's a big cove. <laughs> oh, Are you God. kidding me? <laughs> uh, ah. Where's the gap? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, we thought it was a big shark, but no, it's a huge cobia. <laughs> Calm down, you're all good, mate. You're getting me back here. Yeah, that's all right. You're gonna wear him out. It's all right, worn out. Ah, he's a nice fish. He's a bloody crocodile, mate. Yes. Nice work, mate. It's been a cracker of a day, but Jack got a new ice box, so we thought we'd fill it up. We're all but there. Got a new boat too. Yeah. Yeah, this is Chris and his new boat. This is a reef Chris and trip. I think I think it's got good vibes, Jack. You might not be able to braid out of it. <laughs> his first trout on a line, first trout on a spear, and first cobia are all in the one day. That's one way to light the day up. What a day! Now for the run home. Go fire up the tray. Big thanks to Captain Jack for the day. Breaking in the new boat in style.
So we're back home after that big trip. It's been a pretty awesome run, that one. But um, we're um, just getting sorted out now. We're gonna cook up this reef jack. Gonna throw him in the Traeger. Baste him up with a bit of a Thai recipe. I've seen this one on a uh, one of the American YouTubes. But um, looking forward to it. I reckon he should be bloody good eating this thing. We did have a bit of, uh, we got pulled up by fisheries when we got back to the ramp. Didn't have any dramas there. But yeah, that's what a few others had said, so. Yeah. So we're getting all our fishies checked here at the moment. Make sure everything's legit. <laughs> Is that one legal? Yeah, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> But we did have one little bit of information to share that the guys gave us. Um, our life jackets that we had on board, although they were fairly new life jackets, um, we didn't put the date of purchase on the life jackets that should be kept in their service record because once they're 12 months old or depending on whatever the manufacturer wants to specify you need to do an inspection and fill out the card on the inflatable life jacket so we didn't have the initial purchase date written out on those so they just it wasn't too much of an issue they just said that we do need to have that so a little bit of information there for everyone but apart from that everything was all sweet the fisheries were easy to deal with obviously it's a good thing that they're there doing that stuff for us so um yeah it protects the fishery for years to come so we can enjoy it and the kids can enjoy it their kids can enjoy it so on kind of thing all right let's get into cooking this guy now we're just going to put a few slits in him and then we'll um season him up with a bit of salt and pepper but then as we put him in the traeger we'll put him in about 160 odd degrees as we put him in the Traeger, we'll actually baste him with this Thai coconut um, curry kind of mixture. And um, yeah, it should come out brilliant. Looking forward to it. All right, let's get into this. Surprised at how good just simple salt and pepper seasoning is. Comes out brilliant, eh? But this is going to have a base over the top of it. It's like a, it's coconut milk, lime juice, a um, little bit of fish sauce, a little bit of sugar, I think, is in there. I'll um, run through the ingredients in a minute. So once we put the jack in, we'll um, base this guy on top. We just turn the Traeger on. So we're gonna get it up to 163. And um, she'll start to fire up soon. Burst the smoke. So we'll let that get up to, up to temperature and then we'll throw him in. Hello. Jack just got back from his first day of work experience. Forward to this guy. I've been looking forward to this since we pulled him out from underneath the coral. So, can't wait. He should be beautiful. These guys are good eating in the creek. When they come from the reef, they're just bang on. So, what? Get the smoke on. Get to it. Moving forward, I cook a little bit of rice and do a little bit of a Thai salad up as well. But um, I'm now starting to water just thinking about it, so we'll do it now. Give her about 15 minutes, she'll be ready to roll. So we're banging together a bit of a Thai salad there. Well, I'm no expert on Thai salads, but yeah, that's something close to one. Well, yeah, we're going to put our jack into the Traeger now and get a bit of a cook on. Now 
they're thinking about the eating this guy since we pulled him out from under the coral. Okay. <laughs> Lick a marinade every 10 minutes. Should only take about 20 minutes on this side and then we'll flip him over. So good. <laughs> Can't wait, I'm starving. A little bit quicker than I thought it would. So um I'll give it it's been in there 25 minutes now. Probably give it another 10 minutes. I'll give it a base, we'll have a quick look at it and um, put a probe in it, see where it's at, and um yeah, we'll go from there. We need somewhere around the 60 degrees or a little bit above. Alright. Based. That probe's right in on the backbone, so that'll give us a pretty good indicator. It's a fairly thick fish, this guy, so we're up to about 40 odd minutes cooking now. But, um, yeah, sorry, do it that way so you can see me. Yeah, we're up to about 40 odd minutes, so another 10 minutes, I reckon, should see us on the money. Alright, looking forward to it. The flavour and the smell of this thing is just amazing, so can't wait. Okay, temp's up to 56 now. That's internal temp. We're probably going to pull it there, and um, I think we're looking pretty good there, anyhow. We shouldn't have any problems about overcooking, but yeah, we'll let you know how it is. But everything else smells awesome, so. We're kind of getting to the point where we can't wait to actually get a feed into us. Alrighty, let's do this. <laughs> All right, we'll plate some up. When you want to get off the darkest ground, the gravity pulls you straight down. Popping off the bone. Coconut sauce on top of it. Alive. 
Wow, that's come out tenfold on what I thought it would. It's actually, it is beautiful. I've been looking forward to cooking this fish since we pulled it out from underneath that piece of plate. And it hasn't disappointed. That is amazing. First time I cook one in the Traeger like that, but it won't be the last now. That is fucking, sorry, that is sensational. <laughs> Here's a bit of our basic sauce. Over the top. Unfortunately, Braid's down visiting his mum at the moment. That's why he's not here tonight. And our other Jack, Rolly, that, who was captain for the weekend, he actually had to go back to um, Yapoon to work. So. He couldn't be here with us tonight to try this out, but it is sensational. I can't stress how good that stuff is. <laughs> that is amazing. So, definitely a good weekend. Had an absolute ball out there, shot some great fish. But he, the kids really excelled. Bray got his first trout. His first trout on spear, first trout on line, and first cobia. So, he had a cracker weekend. But, yeah, some days are diamonds, and it was definitely worth the run out there. Oh, no. yep. All right, guys, stay safe, have fun. Until the next video. Cheers. Oh, you make me want to talk back. Talk back to you. Say you, say you like.